What's your favourite karaoke hit? Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know. I tried karaoke once and knackered my back. I don't do it anymore. How do you I'm too old. How do you knack your back doing karaoke? Oh, yeah, you'd be, I don't want to go into that, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, I'm Jamie Stone. I'm the MP for Caithness and Sutherland and Easter Ross, way up at the top of Scotland. Why do you decide to go into politics? Well, I think it's one way I can uh, perhaps help my part of the world. It's got special needs and special challenges, and I just want to roll up my sleeves and get to work for them. What did you do immediately after winning your seat? Do you know what I did? I went to see the director of the Tain Pantomime to see would it be possible for me to have a small part in it because I love doing panto and I've got to try and work this in with my Westminster shaker. It's really important to me. Are, are you going to go in the pantomime? I certainly am. Last year I played the dame in Jack and the Beanstalk. Can't do as big a part this time, but I'm, I'm, I hope I get a really nasty part. It's a small one, but you know, it can make the, the audience boo me. When's the next general election going to be? I would say in about two to three years' time. At least that's the battle planning I'm doing, and so I'm getting my sandbags and my political ammunition ready for it, and uh, here we go again. What's the funniest moment from your campaign? Oh, definitely. I was given a, a ferret to hold, and this lady called Little Tittles, would you hold Tittles? And eventually I gave the ferret back to her. And when I got back in the car, the smell on my jacket, Tittles had kind of peed on me. I had to put it in a black bag, put it in the boot, and never wear it again. Brexit, hard or soft? Oh, soft, please. Very soft, like a marshmallow. What is the issue that you'd say your party is most divided on? Well, hmm. I suppose that we, we've got some work to do, I think, about empowering women. Now, that's a slightly boring answer, but I think we, we, we need to have more females in the House of Commons, and uh, that's something I'd like to try and help sort out. Not everyone agrees with me on that, but um, I know where I'm coming from. Tuition fees, up or down? Up. What Sunday show do you prefer? Did I say up? Can I say that again? Yeah. Down. What Sunday show do you prefer? Peston, Ridge, Mar, or Sunday politics? This is really sad. Sunday politics. Isn't that sad? Why is that sad? Well, you know, you think I'd have a normal life, but I, I'm in this business, and you have to watch it to find out what's going on, really. You a fan of Andrew Neil? Uh, no, I'm not a fan of Andrew Brillo Pad Neil. I once had a, you won't remember this because I'm so unimportant, but I once had a, a bit of a tiff with him on the telly. Would you prefer to fight a hundred duck-sized Theresa Mays or one horse-sized Boris Johnson? <laughs> oh, I'd love to fight one horse-sized Boris Johnson. I mean, I think, you know, stick a pin in him and he'll make a big farting noise and fly out the window. <laughs> Full of hot air. You mentioned you're a pantomime day. Could you give us a, a bit of a bit of an insight into that? Oh, boys and girls, you naughty boys! Oh, would you ever want to be prime minister? No fear, God no. And finally, what do you hope to achieve as an MP? I want to try and sort out some of the things that my constituency needs. For instance, they've got problems on health services, their maternity services being centralised, they've got problems with transport, they've got problems with broadband. If I can sort those things out during my time, I'll have done a good job.